Welcome back, LHS. I'm Charlie May. And I'm Mage. And this, this is, is your Blue Devil, Devil News. News. The Humane Society will meet after school today in room C207. The baseball team is selling mums until September 14th. If you are interested in buying, please see a baseball player. They can also tell you details on pickup and delivery. Student class jerseys are available to order through September 30th. Focus teachers have the link to order. Cafe Blue is now open for business from 7.25 to 10 a.m. on Thursdays and Fridays. Teachers can make orders through the Google form that was emailed out, or you can go before school. Blue Devil Grooming is back and open for the semester through the Ag Department. They're making appointments through Christmas break. Bath and nails for small dogs start at $20, large dogs are $30, and you can add a cut for $10. Now let's check in with Gabe for the weather. Thanks, Mansion and Charmed. Today's high is 77 and with a low of 55. Tomorrow's high is 82 with a low of 65. That's all from weather. Back to you two. Thanks, Gabe. The Tennessee State University Marching Band has submitted for a Grammy. They submitted their application for their album, Their Urban Hymnal, in the Best Gospel Roots category. Yesterday was the 21st anniversary of September 11th attacks on the World Trade Center. The BDN students spoke to a few teachers about their experiences that day. I was sitting in my classroom at Whitsitt Elementary School with my third graders. We was watching television and the announcement came over the intercom that the, in New York, the Trade Center had just been bombed. And we were sitting there and we saw the first one, the airplane, we actually actually saw the first airplane go in and we was like amazed, like what's happening? And then we saw the second airplane go into the other third uh, Trade Center. And so they kept showing it, kept showing, and everybody, it, the whole room just became real silent as we watched it on television. So then the next thing we heard was about the airplane crashing in Pennsylvania. And uh, again, we were just all amazed. We couldn't believe it, like, hey, what's going on? And then we saw the people running uh, and the dust flying everywhere. And uh, after it was all over with, we had to sit down and let the children uh, know in their terms what had just happened. But it was a very sad day. That whole day was sad and uh, of what happened. And then I guess we, we were still like in a maze, like maybe like a, uh, a month or two. That's how long the, we was trying to get over what had happened. But the effect was very strong. And it lasted for about three, well, almost a year. But seeing the, and I guess the most horrible thing that we saw, and they actually showed it, was the people jumping out of the buildings. And, uh, and it's something that I'll know myself. I was in college at Lipscomb University down in Nashville. I was actually working on a, finishing up a, a paper that morning in the computer lab when in the lobby um, someone had uh, said that one of the, the first plane had hit the first tower. And uh, so went into the lobby and was actually watching that uh, on TV when the second plane hit. And it went from thinking that, you know, just an accident to knowing that uh, obviously when the second tower was hit that it was uh, intentional. And uh, so just that whole day, that whole next period of, of time, just the uncertainty. And then and I was sitting in class and I remember my fourth grade teacher, Miss Thompson, turned on the news and she told us that there was a plane crash and I don't know if she knew what was going on and didn't want us to see so she turned the TV off or if she just genuinely thought it was a plane crash. Um, but that's the only thing I remember. I just remember that day. I remember hearing about it. I don't remember anything after that. Um, I just remember sitting in class and seeing it on the news and then my teacher quickly turning it off. I was in my first year of teaching at Wilson Central, and because it was a new building, they had not set up the TVs or internet access. So when it happened, we all had to listen to it on a radio. Um, we didn't see images of it until we were out of school that day. Um, it was just a really weird experience. It didn't directly affect me, um, but uh, it was certainly sad for our nation. 
On 9-11, I was on my way to work, and that was back before we really had video on our phones. So when I got to work, they said, have you heard what happened? I said, what? And they said, you know, the towers, you know? And then we turned the TV on, and we saw it, and it was like, wow, you know? So for the rest of the day, it was just kind of chaos, you know, everybody calling in and saying, you know, do you think that it'll affect our all state insurance company? And, you know, they grounded all the planes and everything. So it definitely had an effect, you know, on not only us as an insurance company, but they were concerned about the money and everything going on in the United States. <laughs>